Now, if there's something that we African kids can do that will scare an African parent into wondering where they went wrong in raising us. Boys, if you've if always wanted to scare your parents, especially you girls, if you want to scare your parents, all you need to do is one thing. Get a tattoo. Boss, that tattoo will scare your mother back into labor pains all over again. And she will wonder why she pushed you out into this world. <laughs> but kids nowadays, you know, they're getting tattoos and they're keeping them a secret. Shh. My parents, let me tell you signs that your child is holding back a tattoo from you. First, if your daughter all of a sudden stopped wearing uh, sleeveless clothing all around the house and she's now wearing hoodies, that daughter, mama, She's hiding a tattoo on her arms. You now, the other popular thing that a lot of kids do when they're hiding their tattoos is they start wearing bracelets or watches you know, to cover up that her wrist tattoo that usually comes around the wrist. Yes, that little angel of yours that you thought all of a sudden was trying to keep time. Boss, they could be keeping a tattoo secret away from you. But let's talk to the root cause of all this tattoo mania. The tattoo artists. With me, I have the person that is enabling us African kids to scare our parents into prayer all over our souls. I have the popular tattoo artist and guy who draws on people for a living. Let's welcome Barry. Welcome Barry. How you doing boys? Good, good. good. Hey, good. You, so you draw on people's bodies yeah, for yeah. a living. Yep, inflicting you, pain on people. That's it. You yeah. gotta inflict pain on everybody. Yep. That's that way the economy inflicts pain on our pockets. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and they pay uh, for it. Yeah, I still get paid for it. Uh, uh, yeah. How did you actually get, in, get into all this, like knowing that, yo, I can draw on people's bodies and, and get some money out of this? Okay, first in school I was doing architecture, then uh, I decided to get in like body art. Mm because it's uh, a different form of, a different kind of art. Clearly, because yeah. it's on the body. On the body and it's permanent. It, it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. Yep. Just like the memory of your ex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And then you just... Yeah, then I just decided to venture into it. Uh -huh. Yeah, slowly, slowly then. But they, yeah. speaking of slowly, slowly, because mm -hmm. in the middle of that slowly, slowly, see, there was a mm -hmm. little bit of mess up, mess up. Have you ever messed uh, up on someone's start? I tried my best not to mess someone's skin because now it's irreversible. Yes, yeah. have you ever messed up one? Like, no. maybe the client, no, there are those mm -hmm. that you don't, like, they, the client is okay mm -hmm. with it, mm -hmm. but you know you kind of messed up on, like, a curve or something. No, I You've tried never. my best, yeah, I tried my best never to mess someone's piece. Ever. Ever. Hey, because there's some guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd ever mess up with a tan. Because, uh, you know, there's some out there which are very horrible. True, 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 true. I've, and you've seen. Yeah, I've seen. I've, I've done a lot of cover-ups. Uh -huh. like they come. Even you, I think you've seen them. Yes. Yeah. The makeovers, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Clearly, because this guy keeps a category of all his clients. Yeah. He does not forget them. I, I uh, for I how many years now? It's been nine years now. Nine years yeah, and counting. Going, yeah, still counting. Hey, this guy's <laughs> been at it, tattoo guy. <laughs> yep. But now, let me ask you straight up. Mm -hmm. Like, say a client comes in and then they just say, yo, listen, I don't know what I want. Mm -hmm. Give me something cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we normally first advise someone and also, like, uh, we ask someone, someone what, what's someone, like, in someone's mind. And then after that, we sketch them down. Uh -huh. And then after that, we advise someone or do any changes someone wants mm -hmm. before approving and then we we'll get that talk down. Okay, cool. Before, yeah. And you say before approving because uh -huh. I know I, because I was also your client, mm -hmm. I had to sign something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why do people have to, you know, guys, have, you have to sign something before you guys get a tattoo. Did yeah. you know that? <laughs> Is that <laughs> true? Is yeah, that yeah, true? It's true, it's true. We have a disclaimer. You have to sign it before getting the tattoo. So down. disclaimer in the sense that if you die, it's not a problem. If you mm -hmm. have a word yeah. or? Because now basically you're showing everything. Your setup is different from someone's setup. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh wow. Yep. So, <laughs> have you ever had someone like get a shock? No, 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 no. no. That can be really, yeah. really creepy, though. No. <laughs> but have you ever had to tell someone, "Yo, listen, this is not a good idea." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, most mostly people get, getting like uh, spouses' names. Uh huh. Yeah. And then maybe weird things. Uh -huh. So we advise someone first, and then after that. You take them through counseling. Yep. You even you hear how his voice is. He's like, yo, listen, we're going to take care of you. And it's going to be OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you do actually, so even you mentally, like, were you ever taught, mm -hmm. like, 
this is what you have to, what do you, how did you learn all that? Like knowing that you have to go through, mm-hmm. tell this client this mm-hmm. so that they can know, like so they can be mentally prepared mm-hmm. for their first tattoo. Okay, first, when it, com- when it comes to tattoo, it's something permanent. It's like a lifetime decision because you're getting something permanent in your skin. Mm-hmm. So first you have to talk, talk it out to the client, bond with him or her first, mm-hmm. then get into the in- design and see how meaningful it is to him or her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then after that, you get everything done. Yeah. And you've, have you ever had to like sell someone, you go, come back another day? Mm, unless maybe while booking an appointment. Oh. Yeah. That and maybe be. if someone is underage. Oh. Yeah, until you're 18, then you come back. A guy sober sometimes? Sober also. Yeah, you have to come sober. You have to? It's advisable. But we, we, it's advisable. That's, you know yeah. what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you can still get it when you're drunk, uh-huh. but now it's advisable. Uh-huh. Yeah, because of the bleeding part, the blood becomes yeah. thin. Yeah. Usually on average, like mm-hmm. on a, uh, even for example, you, this guy has a lot of art on him. Do you know how many tattoos you got on yourself? Mm, I lost count of time because I've joined them uh-huh. to make a sleeve. Uh-huh. Yeah. And even there's uh, the others, you have like a full back one. Just slightly, not too full. Oh, okay. Yeah. That can be scary. Yeah. Do you do this on your own? Are you, are you doing uh, yourself? I've done it on the legs. Ah. Yeah. But on the hands, you can't. All right. Because so you need to stretch the skin. All right. So clearly, this guy likes inflicting pain on himself. Yeah. So your life, whatever you throw at him, he has a needle for it and just zzz it out. Yeah. <laughs> Is it therapeutic for you in some extent? Um, in a way. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> in, in a weird way. Even I just, it can be like a, even like a stress reliever, kind of. Um, yeah. It, it can. Yeah, other guys come get it like just to get relieved. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So guys want to get their first tattoos. What should they do? They should just holler at me, Barry Tasker. There you yeah, go. All social media. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Holler at this guy. Yeah. I can yeah. actually vouch for him because he actually take you through the process very, very gently. He'll take you slowly. Yes, he'll take you. He'll treat you like the virgin uh, that you truly are within the tattoo atmosphere isn't that right yeah, and virgins need to be taken slowly true. isn't that right yep. and plus he has a mellow voice to keep you calm <laughs> and then he inflict the pain with his needles yeah. <laughs> yeah. so you guys mm-hmm. make sure you check out barry who his handle is especially on his ig's ig is really really good his mm-hmm. ig is yeah barry tasker barry tasker yeah. tasker why they um, promoted you also what's going on yeah <laughs> <laughs>